Hey there guys, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Conker's Pocket Tales. Right, so in the last episode we got to Claw Swamp and we got halfway through it. In this episode we're going to make more progress in Claw Swamp. Um, my throat is still kind of sore, so bear with me. <laughs> yeah, it's now Sunday, I thought by now it would have gotten better, but no, it's just the back of my throat is sore. I mean, it may sound okay right now, but... When I start talking more, like later on in the videos, or later on in the video, it'll probably start acting up again because the more I talk consist or continuously, the more my throat starts to mess up. So, <laughs> and considering this is a video and I have to make commentary perfect and all, um, my throat probably will end up acting up because of me talking continuously and the reason why that is is because I recently had tonsillitis I had it all week last week and well all week this week it's still Sunday so technically yes all this week <laughs> I had tonsillitis and it, it stopped like it, the tonsils went down on Friday I think but it's just the after pain of it it still hurts and it's not very nice, not very pleasant at all. Oh, what? We got to do this puzzle again? Oh, might as well do it. I mean, there's no point in me cutting it out, is there? I mean, this is the start of the video right here. <laughs> okay, so we're going to push... I forgot how you do this now. <laughs> I've completely forgotten. It's been a while since I last recorded this. It was about a week ago, because well, I wasn't going to record when I had tonsillitis, otherwise my voice would have been dreadful. So, yeah, that's basically where I'm up to in life right now, is that <laughs> I am suffering from a lot of, well, I was suffering from a lot of pain. The pain has gone down, it's just that it's sore and it still messes up my voice, but now that's not how you do it, because now that block is on the bottom part of the screen. Great, okay, so I guess, I swear you have to push this one down. Oh, this one, this way, and uh, then you push this one up, right, <laughs> I think so, uh, and then you, wait, no, that can't be it, no, no, that's not it, because then you can't push it to the left, no, you can't push it to the right, uh, no, this is it, this is what you do, um, well, if I can do it, Oh god, sometimes you press the Z button and it just doesn't do it. Yeah, it happens to me on the Game Boy as well. If you're standing in front of a box and you press the A button to push the box into the switch, it sometimes just doesn't do it. And I've done it wrong again because I wasn't meant to push that block. Oh boy. Because then how am I going to... Oh wait, no. Maybe I... No, I haven't. No, no, I haven't done it right. Oh god. Right, okay, you gotta do the same thing again, but yeah, just do it in the same order. Oh, well don't do that, don't walk out the door. <laughs> okay, so push this one down, that one that way. And there, and then you don't move this one. This is the last one you push in, so right this one isn't necessary, so you can push that one in. Um and then what you do here, you walk around. Wait no Wait, that doesn't work either, because how... Oh, how are you going to get in? Oh, crap. Wait, no. Yeah, just do that. What the hell? <laughs> I thought that box was blocking uh, an exit entrance. Well, it is now, but... No! Stop walking out the door! Oh, that is so annoying. Don't walk out the door. Otherwise, it's just going to reset the whole puzzle again, you stupid. Conquer, you're not supposed to go near the door. Do not go near the door. It's going to kill you. It's going to take you into heaven. Because, you know, you're supposed to avoid the light and all. Huh. Don't go towards the light. It's going to burn your eyes out. Huh. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is weird commentary coming from me. Okay, stay away from the door. <coughs> Ugh. God, and now you can see that it's coming out. That's because I was talking loud. 
Because I say, conquer, don't go out towards the door. Okay, I'll stop saying that now, because that's going to get annoying. Alright. So now we're back to where he was. Alright, okay. Just don't want to die here. And yeah, we got more relentless spikes to jump over. That's what I died on. <laughs> Friggin' spikes. Alright, so we got another house not far off from where we was. And I think... Is this the last house? Because it looks like the area where the last house is. Now, I'd be very surprised if it was, but... <laughs> uh, right, okay. Oh, I forgot how you do this one as well. Um, Alright, I know... I know you're not supposed to move this one till, till later. This is one of the last blocks you push in, so... Uh, keep that in mind. Um, you don't need this block, so you can push that one down there. Um, uh, then you just move this one. Uh, yeah, you move this one up like so. And just push that one in there like that. And then. Da da. And, um. And I think this one goes in there like that. Pretty sure. Well, no, because then. Wait. Is that right? <laughs> Doesn't look right. Because then, how are you going to get that? Well, no, yeah, you could do that. Then, how are you going to get this one in? Ugh, I, I might have screwed this up. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I have. Right, okay, I don't think you're supposed to push... You're not necessarily supposed to push this block into the top one. You're supposed to do that. And then... Yeah, this one definitely goes in there. I know that. And then that one goes in there. And... Uh... This one goes in there. Yeah, because you can see there's only, like... Well, no, there is three blocks, actually. But... It just doesn't make sense how you're supposed to get... That one in there. Hmm. Because then this one goes in here, right? Yeah. So how are you supposed to get this one in... Great, I'm stuck. <clears throat> right, no, maybe maybe these two just go in straight and you don't have to move them in all sorts of awkward directions right, okay, so that works, I guess then this one goes like that Oh, I am stuck. Good, good, guys, I'm officially stuck. Hang on. No, I... Oh, this is so confusing. I have to actually really concentrate here. That's why I'm not really speaking as such. Right, okay. Yeah, that one goes in there, right, okay. Then, well, that's not going to work either, because you can't even push that one down. That's what I was hoping for, but you can't do that. So, what the balls? What is going on here? Right, okay. How about we do this? Right. Yeah, okay. Well... That kind of works. Then... And this one goes up as well. Uh, that one goes down into there. Which also works. <laughs> and this one goes into here, which works too. Oh, I've sussed it, I've sussed it, I've got it, I've got it. 
Let's just don't walk out the door. <laughs> and do that. Duh. And doom. There we go. We did it. All right. Cool. <laughs> That's actually quite a tricky puzzle. Um, because some of those blocks aren't positioned right and you have to move them into different places so you can actually get them into the right position to put them into the correct uh, switches which is kinda tricky so <laughs> uh, I'm definitely making a save there alright just in case I die I'm not doing that puzzle again <laughs> I'll tell you that now see I knew I was gonna die because I was on one acorn and I'm not gonna get very far with just one acorn Alright, hopefully I'm going to get towards the boss in this episode. I'm not going to actually beat the boss in this episode, because I'm telling you, the boss in this world is absolutely difficult. I'm not going to have the time to do it, so that will all come in the next video. Um, I don't know how long of this world we have to traverse through, but... Got a nice glass of milkshake. Well, not glass, bottle. Nice bottle of milkshake. Uh, yeah, just do that. Huh. I should have done that in the first place, then I wouldn't have died. Then again, there's these spikes, and I would have died here, probably. Because you know what it is with me and spikes in this game, I always end up seeming to fall into them. Alright, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is actually the last section. Like, we don't have to go through another section, but. Like, there are a few houses you have to go through still. Um, yeah, as you can see right here, there's another house. But these ones aren't so difficult. The last few houses in this world are not difficult at all because there aren't that many switches to, to um, put crates into. Yeah, the one we did earlier on was the hardest one, so. You know. uh, never mind, I think I screwed that up. <laughs> Yeah, but there are sometimes you almost have to walk into the spikes, <laughs> like with. All right, okay. Let me get my bearings here. All right, so that one goes down. No, that one doesn't go down, does it? I'm trying to think. No. Uh... Yeah, this one does go down. Then. Goes that way. Oh no, dude, don't go stepping in the spikes. Yeah, it's like that. And this one goes. Alright, okay, so. Wait, what the hell happened last time? Did I leave the room by accident? Or did I. What the hell happened? I know I moved this one down, which was right. And then, um, I must have left the house by accident. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay. All right. So then this one goes, uh, this one goes, oh no, dude. God, the controls in this when you're pushing the blocks are so awkward sometimes. That's the only problem I have with this game is doing these puzzles is that when you want to push up when you push a button it's not as responsive as you'd want it to be Ugh. and that's when you end up getting spiked to death because <laughs> as you can see it's inevitable you have to get spiked to actually solve the puzzle otherwise you're gonna otherwise you're not gonna progress all right more crows more spikes great lovely oh dude now they're tricking us as you can see, they've got a little obstacle there, so you have to go down like that. Ah, oh, you crafty fuckers. You crafty. Damn it, I died! Got game over! Alright guys, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, um... Yeah, I got game over, so I had to redo the puzzle again, but I did it off-screen, so you guys didn't have to see me do it again. Because I don't want to be getting the same stuff recorded over and over again, so then you guys get bored. <laughs> Uh, we want to be making progress, and in this video, I want to, like I say, hopefully get to where the boss is in this video. Uh, we should be able to, because there isn't really much left of this world to go through. I think there's one more puzzle house, and that's it. 
I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, you can call me Spot and s call me Charlie. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> I was trying to think of a saying there, but I uh, screwed it up. Okay, there's tarantulas. Oh my god. What? I was actually reading about spiders not long ago, and apparently the world's most poisonous spider, according to the Guinness World Book of Records, is the Brazilian wandering spider. And the funny thing is, <laughs> well, it's not really that funny because of how tragic it is, uh, in ways, um, that it has a poison. I forgot what the poison's called, but it can make your penis erect and not, um, and become. Uh, yeah, it basically makes it erect and makes it, um, it, it can't get flaccid, basically, it stays erect. So, yeah, I don't know how long it does, I don't know how long it stays like that for, I think it stays like that for several weeks or days or months, or stupid, but... Um, having a penis erected for that long can cause poisoning, I think, in in that area, which isn't very good. Like, blood poisoning, basically. Because when you... when it gets erect... Oh god, this is so stupid, why am I talking about this? But yeah, when your penis gets erect, um... It, it, basically, the way how it does do that is the spine, I think it's the spine, sends blood pressure down to the down to that area and oh, I can't no it's yeah oh game over <laughs> uh, but yeah it's basically when your penis gets like that it's basically blood pressure going straight up that area and that's what causes it to do it yeah uh, too much information for me anyway <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I found it funny when I read about it, but it's not really that funny because you think about the people that have to suffer through that, and it's not nice. It's not nice at all to have a long erect erectile penis. <laughs> I mean, I bet there are people out there who made dirty jokes about it or rude, nasty, horrible jokes about it, but... I mean, that's not the kind of thing to joke about, because you can imagine being in that position where you just can't, you know... I mean, imagine walking in a crowd of women, and then they look at you with your massive dong, and they're like, Oh, my God, what are you doing with that massive penis? Why can't you... Why can't Why can't it go down? You've had it on there for hours, and... Uh, like, like, if it was your girlfriend, for example, and you go around her house, and you spend the night there, and you're at her house, and your penis just doesn't go down and you're like having dinner and stuff and she's like, oh my god dude you've had that thing out there for ages why doesn't it go down <laughs> have you taken like a thousand pills of viagra or something a thousand pills of viagra jesus christ your penis would bend all the way around the world from the top of the world to the bottom of the world Okay, all right. Uh, we're coming up towards the puzzle house now. Yippee! Yep, yep. All oh, right, there's a red present though. Well, that's noted. I guess I'll have to come back and get that some point. But yeah, you need to burn down the bush to get that. Um, all right. Okay. So I wasn't actually focusing on what I was t what I was doing last time. I was too busy talking about comment. Well, too busy focusing on my commentary and trying to be funny. Uh, right, so this one goes down, then this one goes that way, this one goes that way, uh, like that, uh, yeah, this is easy, what the hell, why did I screw this up last time? Well, it's because now that I'm concentrating, I know what I'm doing, instead of trying to concentrate on being funny. 
All right, so we got ourselves a blue present. Uh, I've got really bad nose right now, and it isn't helping out much. No, it's not. How many presents do we have now? 30. All right, cool. I think you need 35 to leave the world, though. So we need 35 blue presents. How big is this world? I don't remember it being this huge. Uh, I believe we got another section coming up ahead. Yeah, we do. Wow, this world just doesn't stop, does it? Okay, I think I'm pretty sure this is the final area. Uh, okay, I'm I'm telling you, yeah, I'm telling the truth. I'm pretty sure this is it, where the where the boss is. But we still have a few more houses to go through, like I say, because I do remember the last section having a few houses puzzles you have to solve. And here's the first one of which, right? Ah, right. This one isn't too bad. Now, obviously, you have to push this one that way, this one that way, because there's no way you're gonna get out. Um. Yeah, this ain't too bad. What the hell? This is easy stuff here. Yeah, really easy, dude. Could you make it a little bit more harder? Because, <laughs> like, the last one, well, the one we did earlier on, that was really hard. The one we had to push all the all the blocks onto the right-hand side of the room. And there was a whole bunch of switches in there that you had to put all the blocks into. Well done, Conker. Your new rating is Conker Stomper. I'm Conker Stomper! I stomp already. Uh, does that really improve my rank, or does that just basically clarify what I've been doing throughout the whole game, which is stomping? Oh no, I've run out of conkers! I'm screwed! Hang on, let me save. I don't want to do that puzzle again. Or any previous puzzles that I've done. Okay, need to, need to sprint, dude. Get all those acorns. Well, the good thing is you don't need conkers for the boss, so right. you don't need to use ammunition to kill that thing. You just need to have your stomp, huh? Basically, ah, this is the this is the last house right here. All right, and the last house being kind of tricky because uh, there's more switches to push blocks into. <coughs> Ugh. Right, so uh, this one goes in here. Damn, I have no good commentary to come out of these puzzles because you're seeing basically the same stuff you've seen like a million times already before. Like, it's no different. <laughs> it's not like I'm doing anything epic here. Um. So, yeah, right, okay, hang on a second. I know what I'm doing here. I know what I'm doing. I've got a torch. I know what I'm doing. Huh. I'm going to like this birthday cake. Ha, ah, you thought wrong. You thought I was going to burn down a tree. Well, no, I wasn't. I was going to light a birthday cake with a torch. <laughs> All right, so there you go. We've done that. Puzzle. And yeah, we need. There should be a blue. Oh, there's no. There's no blue present out of that. Really? Just the entrance to the boss, and that's it. All right then. Okay, so guys, in the next episode of Let's Play Congress Pocket Tales, we shall take on the boss of Claw Swamp, and I'm absolutely dreading it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care everybody, see you in the next video, and goodbye.